Hello everyone, happy Monday. I hope you're having a fantastic start to your week out there. And I hope you had a great full moon. Go ahead and comment down below. Let me know how this full moon landed for you. And if you didn't get the inside scoop on it, you can go back and check out that live feed that I did talking all about the new or the full moon and talking about the whole week ahead with the Taroscopes for each and every one of the signs. You can go back and check that out. Now, the sun and Chiron are aligning today in the sign of Aries. We talked about that during that video, how Venus Chiron and the Sun were all on top of each other at eight degrees and today Chiron and the Sun are coming even further into harmony and this is allowing us to feel more about where we're being drawn to what has life called from us or evoked from us through difficult circumstances through challenges that we've faced through pains that we've overcome who are we and what is the path that we're on this builds this kind of confidence and allows us to really feel more connected with our own path and purpose in this period of time. Also, though, we do have a lot of lessons coming up about our insecurities with Chiron, talking a lot about how we sabotage or undermine our own confidence, our own ability to show up for ourselves and others. I also talked in that video about how Aries is often this fight for survival, this fight for life. And so this is a time where we really want to look at what are we going after things for? Are we going after things because it is for our survival or are we doing it to build skills or talents above and beyond that? This is a time where we really need to be honest with ourselves and that's happening also because of one other aspect and I'm going to go ahead and shuffle this deck up here and pull out some card messages and we're going to look at some messages about the sun and chiron alignment and then we're going to talk about the secondary alignment today and pull some messages there as well so for this sun and chiron alignment we're going to look at what messages want to come out yeah so I feel like this is really talking about what ways in the past we've held ourselves back or restricted ourselves, not allowed ourselves to move forward with our own creative ideas and endeavors because we were afraid of loss, afraid of losing, um, afraid of how others would perceive us. I feel like the sun and Chiron in its alignment is like allowing us to start into a new phase where we're no longer holding ourselves back and we're restricting ourselves from participating in our relationships or in our um creative endeavors or things like projects like that. This is a time where we're really being asked to really get in touch with what are the things that we're afraid of that have been holding us back and how do we move forward and beyond them anyway? How do we move forward in spite of them? I feel like this is a time where you really need to be honest with yourself and ask yourself the uncomfortable questions. Where do I not allow myself to pursue my dreams because I am scared? Where do I defend my lack of movement or my stagnation because I feel justified or I feel um, you know like initiating is hard whatever the justifications are that we have there the secondary aspect that I wanted to pull some cards for today is the fact that tonight we have mercury aligning with neptune mercury and neptune are both in the sign of pisces and mercury does not love to be in pisces mercury is the planet of communication and pisces is notoriously challenged to communicate and the reason for this is because it's much more of a dreamer than it is a practical thinker and mercury needs to be able to convey practical thoughts and with it in, in neptune we can definitely be looking at what blockages or tensions we have that have been holding us back and also just allowing our intuition to guide us more because Pisces is a very intuitive sign. We're going to see now what messages are here about this one. Yeah, I feel like there could be all sorts of new ideas and things coming in that could be very feeling very exciting in this period of time. Um, we could be feeling inspired. We could be feeling maybe like we're ready to move in multiple directions. And we're ready also to look at and remove these blockages that we've been feeling and facing before that have kept us from fully conveying and communicating to ourselves the truth. I feel like here this is talking about our needs to really look at what communication that mercury has been fogged or hazy in pisces towards ourselves what ways have we been deceiving ourselves following and believing assumptions or believing other information that isn't our actual direct experience these types of things what ways can you 
begin to become more clear about the assumptions that you're living your life based off of and the ways that you're deceiving yourself and choosing to deceive yourself because of that as well. Once you know your own biases and weak spots, you can then begin to speak to yourself and accommodate this in a different way where you can say, okay, you know, we talked about this in the other video for the full moon, but we remember, you know, we are not the mind. So the mind might have different emotions or feelings or things that come up, but we also have the ability to direct that in a certain way. And I feel like that's what this energy is here for you. This is really about what ways have you been deceiving yourself? What assumptions are your life, is your life based off of? And are they serving you or would it be better for you if you can't get any truths? Would a better set of assumptions serve you? These kinds of things is what we're looking at today. I hope you love these readings. If you do, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. If any of these wonderful crystals up here at the top are calling out to you, keep in mind they're always available. And I put out these energies because I felt like they would just really help with the aspects for today. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I love to hear and interact with you guys. And I will see you all next time. Until then, I am singing so much bliss in your direction.